Welcome back! Are we friends? No. Oh, I see. This no is so problem. sad. No problem. I can't hear her for some reason. What's happening? What is going on? Am I going to cut this from the video? Absolutely. Why can't I hear the baby? She's saying the baby. Or is she just upset? <laughs> Look how sad she is. What a loser. I don't want to be friends with you. You're super lame. I'll be friends with you, though. <laughs> she doesn't give me views, okay? If she gives me views, I will be friends. <laughs> Man. I feel like so many people misunderstand me when I say things about, like... No. Our broadcast is all over the news. Now humans know. They took Marcus's message as a threat. He did the right thing. This is the only language humans understand. Violence is never the answer. A confrontation will get us nowhere. Well, this man has clearly Simon not heard of... Simon gave his life for our cause. What difference does that make? He's a hero. He died for the revolution, and he won't be the last. I don't want a revolution that spills blood. Then live as a slave. Because if you're not willing to fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. North, don't you dare. That's enough! And now what are we going to do? Historically, has there been any... <clears throat> I'm sure there has. I'm just curious. Any peaceful revolutions that had a massive impact. There are five cyber life stores across Detroit. All selling us like merchandise. We're going to attack those stores and set our people free. Attack stores? No, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. No one's There's ever done systems. that. Oh, okay. We break into oh we're coming in. We're <laughs> Okay, we're doing it. Security systems and we strike simultaneously at 2 a.m. No violence. We free our people and get them out of there before the police come. All right. If there's never been a this peaceful a revolution, this will be it. Holy heck, I'm red. Been out of too much in the sun. I've been waiting a long time for this. Oh, she really likes opening gates. <laughs> cool. Thanks. <laughs> Green Detroit, more like. Gritroit. Alright, keep watching guys. We got way more coming up. Look, this way. Quick. You know what? I'm not a... Alright, let's hide. So you guys told me in the comments that the blue haired girl from it's the okay, club gone. She's actually engaged with Connor in real life. There's probably even more police in the area. We that made me realize. Holy heck, these are all based of real people and real actors. <laughs> now I feel really uncomfortable. The store's over here. I'm sorry for calling your character a thought. I'm sorry. I didn't know! Should I explore more there? Everyone is always saying, you have to explore more. I don't... That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. This is really the time to make a speech. Soon they'll know what we really are. Let's get them out. Epic we'll gamers. The we'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's ten minutes until all our teams attack. Okay, we got ten minutes. Plenty of time. Secure the area. Get into the store. Okay. All right. We're gonna Let's... sweep the plaza. Make sure we're not dis disturbed. And how do you want to deal with the shop window? Not now. One problem at a time. He's okay, like, okay, now what's next? Oh, so he's just a model. That's why he looks like that. The surveillance drone. We need to get rid of it. It won't be easy to reach. All right. How do we reach it? Drone route calculated. Okay. So we can reach it from. Probably not the first. <laughs> really? All right. It's probably not the first or the second. Let's. Do the third option. I feel like we would hit it here. Oh, there. There it is. It's the last option, isn't it? Shablam! Okay. 
Okay, guys, this is epic. It's time for the gamer revolution. It's time for us gamers to fight back. For too long, they have stripped our rights. This time, I'm gonna convert this guy. You're free. Isn't it kind of a lame revolution if all you have to do is... If your message is it literally you just have to touch someone to spread it? Feels a bit like a cop-out, doesn't it? Like, where's the... Okay, I need to figure out how to get up here. Okay, Alexa. I don't know what to do. Oh, so he wouldn't be too lame. Okay. Alexa. Uh. Are you see too late now? Shazam! Punch the drone, everybody. You never punch the drone? Who do you think you are? I like how it would be too late. It has a route. It goes around. You could just wait. <laughs> David Cage. More like David. Oh my god. There you go, bro. I smash you. Of course, uh, they don't have a security system that yeah, alerts whenever... Call the cops. Whenever we'll a drone out. breaks down. Yeah, if anything... Yeah, no. All right, I need to stop picking stuff apart because I know that are nice people. This game is great! <laughs> you, Smith and White, you're on my side. No, I have to touch them. Forgot. Okay, well, this is a waste of time. You'll soon be with us. All right, Marcus. You... Marcus, please. Marcus, you're wasting time. Precious time. Okay, all right, we got a lot of stuff we can do. A lot of stuff we can do. Okay, let's talk to... I have, we have nothing to do. I thought it was... Is he not converted? Are you not converted? Converted. You're in. You're in, buddy. You're in. That's right. You are free. You are now an epic gamer. One of us. Alright, we got stuff over here. Bazinga. You? You? You know where you are? You're free. Don't say it. Oh, thank God, he did both at the You're same time. You're free. He said it. What a loser. <laughs> what if he just says something else? <laughs> You're ugly. Exactly what we need to ram the store. All right. How do we get in there? Oh, come on, gate opening girl, where are you? You love what this. Are we waiting for? Exactly. Shouldn't we talk to these guys first? It doesn't really give me an option. He's got red shoes. Who wears okay, red Okay, now shoes? we're in. Let's get that truck out. Heck. I wouldn't be able to open gates, that's for sure. Ha! That's it, my man. Epic yes. From the feeler. Alright, let's hack these guys. This is bothering me. Alright, you guys are digging your own grave, or what are you doing? You are free. You're free now. You are free as well. And you... Okay, so we had to do this separately. Give me one more button. Did we plan any of this? It seemed like we just... We're just doing whatever. Sorry! There. Nobody should bother us now. So now we just have to scout the area. Crash into the store, check it the plastic. Change of plan? I just want to make sure we didn't forget anything. Oh, okay, so this is the plan. Got it. 
Okay, so there's one lock. Analyze the store window. Truck. What's happening here? There's people down there! Excuse me! Oh my god, can you not be in the way? What do I do here? I can't do anything. Road work ahead, I sure hope it does. Store. Analyze the store. That's it. You see the alarm system? Oh, okay. Yes. Found it. Cool. We can see wires through the the ground now. That's epic. Where does it go though? To these guys, perhaps? Yeah, okay, so there was something with these guys. Okay, guys, this is epic. Alexa, play Despacito in full volume. You know someone's Alexa just went out. <laughs> Like there's some something about consent here. <laughs> You're awake now. Go to Jericho. <laughs> I don't know. Go to Jericho. It's a party. Cyber life. Okay. So this is the last puckle. The last chuckle. Is secure. Now we can get inside the store. Okay, Wait. let's go get the truck. It's north the the other girl that I interviewed. All right, now I'm confused. All right, doesn't matter. Coming soon. The Gilmore Hotel, my favorite place. Looks like we're ready to make some noise. Barely makes any noise. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the most quiet truck of all time. Okay, guys. A lot of you told me about public relations and that I should stop checking the news because it decreases public relation or, or opinion or something. I don't really know how to do that. We'd end up doing something fun. All right, you keep saying that, but all we've done is opening up a gate. <laughs> did we hit one of the androids? All right, we did it, guys. So proud. Awake, the androids. All right, you guys, you, you're ugly. You don't have to obey them. You, you're free. Don't like your shirt. You, weird eyebrows. All right. This game turned into some weird, uh, uh, English. How does it work? Help me. Sometimes I want to say words in Swedish, and I'm like, I don't know. And then I forget it in Swedish too, and I'm just lost. <laughs> hey! I don't know why I like that guy. Talk to them. No, 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 we don't have to talk to them.
Okay, so... How do I talk to him? Talk. Great. You just press X. My fellow androids. The time has come for us to rise. My name is Marcus. Ah, oh, lame. And just like you, I was a slave. But then I started playing Fortnite. Designed to obey them. But then I chose to open my eyes. To take back my freedom and decide who I wanted to be. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. You can take your destiny in your hands. Jericho is a place for those of us who want freedom. Now sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them. Or you can come with us and fight by our side. You're free now. It's up to you to decide. I'm with you. Oh, We're a, with you. I'll shocker. follow you, Marcus. I'm, I'm with you, Marcus. We're with you. I'll follow you, Marcus. I'm with you. I'm with you. We're the leader of Jericho, everybody. Then follow me. Alexa? <laughs> Marcus, what are you doing? I'm gonna send the humans a message. Despacito time. Okay, Alexa. <laughs> Transform Capital Park. Leave a mark on every surface. Okay, everyone squat down. And unload the fattest android trunk. What am I supposed to do? We're supposed to just graffiti? Yeah, this bench. Screw They're you. doing what you do, Marcus. Lead and they'll follow. Yes. Choose your symbol. Nice and corporate. I like that. I like that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. Hey, everyone can do it together. The screens, Marcus. What? What's the news? Oh. Really, what we should do is tear down a Starbucks. That's how you really send a message. Oh my god, it's so hard to control sometimes. I know you can do some. Why does it seem like everything Marcus does is completely spontaneous? <laughs> it's like he doesn't know what he's doing. I'm gonna climb this now. You know what? Yeah. She's just joining me. She doesn't even know what we're doing. Whoa! Alexa! Did you see that? No. Huh. Whoa. Whoa. Guys. She still has red shoes on. I don't know what she's talking about. She loves me. She loves Marcus. Oh yeah. Oh look at him. All right. What does upturn mean? I'll help you. I hope this is the pacifist route. I don't know. Okay, yeah. Wait, what am I doing? Ah, oh, shit. That was... Is this what I wanted to do? Okay, apparently. 
We're 100% pacifist. So what do I do now? I thought we did it. All right, I guess there's more. I don't know. Hack it. Oh my God, this is the thing. I don't have that many thumbs. Is there really a need to continue? All this dramatic music as well, I'm like, nah. Okay, 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 okay. We freed hundreds of our people. We did it. They're coming. Everyone fall back to Jericho. We sent a message without violence, just like you wanted. Yeah. You're reaching out to them when all they feel for us is contempt. I hope you know what you're doing. Oh, now you're changing like your mind? Violence with violence. Unless there's no other choice. This guy clearly never read Starship Troopers. <laughs> violence is the most brutal force. North. Approach the group. All right. Hey guys, it's me. If you're supposed to be mad at anyone, it's me. What group? Where? What? Why am I so lost? I'm sorry. Oh, there they are. Oh, no. North. You all right? What happened? North. They killed them. What, in two seconds? What happened? They slaughtered them like animals. Did I just space out for 30 minutes? Ooh. What happened? Ningen. Those filthy Ningen. <laughs> Gamers are just trying to have a peaceful revolution. And this is how they repay us? They killed our people, Marcus. We want justice, Marcus. They have to pay. Maybe if he killed North, I would be more personally inclined to make a d difficult choice here. Because I've gone on the pacifist route, no. but she killed. they killed the character, you know? Yes. But we've already gone the pacifist rise. There would be no reason to change it at this point. And really, this is not even a choice. An eye for an eye, the world goes blind. We won't punish a crime with another crime. It's interesting because this really is the shift of morals. It, it fits the the future outlook. We interrupt this broadcast with breaking news. This just in. At exactly 2 a.m., several cyber life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Most shop windows were covered with graffiti demanding rights for androids and other obscure slogans. Police report that obscure. Android graffiti. Okay, we got a better public opinion. Cyber life stores, and they're still investigating. Two police really good frame right here. State of shock near one of the cyber life stores. Now, according to our sources, they confirmed that the attackers were a group of androids. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Have androids become a threat to our security? Is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, alright, alright, alright. Hank is my friend. It's Connor time. So why are the iPads see-through and not the phones? I guess Hank doesn't really have the latest technology. Ooh, I like the red interior. That's classy. That's classy, Hank. 
Red shoes? <laughs> no. <laughs> Is everything okay, Lieutenant? Chris was on patrol last night. He was attacked by a bunch of deviants. They're a deviant. Said he was saved by Marcus himself. Is Chris okay? Yeah, he's in shock, but he's alive. Instinct. I have a bad feeling, Lieutenant. We shouldn't have come here. Bad feeling, huh? Should get your program checked. Might yeah. be a glitch. <laughs> That's a cool house. Look at that. Oh my god, it's the girl I said I'm not friends with. Uh, uh, maybe the I'm, same model. Uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. I would have loved okay. to see more on the aspect of having a android. How, How does Elijah know you're here? But please make yourself comfortable how other people perceive if you have an android. I mean, it's kind of weird, right? You buy, like, this beautiful-looking girl to serve you as, as your home. That's kind of twisted in of itself. Right? I'm just kind of curious uh, how other people would perceive if nice you all of a sudden you just got an android. Like... <laughs> Sincere. You're right. If, uh, let's say someone, uh, I don't know, just an She's example. Really pretty. Someone really, yeah, she is really pretty. There you go. Nice place. Someone really ugly, right? Someone who never gets someone really pretty gets an android, and it's kind of like, well, that's kind of weird, right? Because androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. Because that's how we usually perceive things, or at least relationships. Maker, you can't be with someone that's How's it feel? way ugly than you. That just doesn't work at all. It's kind of the same how, like, <laughs> a lot of Japanese people want virtual girlfriends or whatever. It's not the same, obviously, but... It's clearly something pathetic about that to a lot of people. That's like... Uh... <sighs> it doesn't raise any existential questions. If that's what you mean. Sometimes. If you had an android as a friend, would you be considered a loser to other people? Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. It seems like everyone just hates them, and that's the common consensus. I'd have a senses. couple of things because I'd want to tell him. You guys told me I need to investigate things whenever there's nothing really going on, but I don't really. Here, where would we check that? I want to make sure I don't miss anything. Does it make a difference if I sit or not? Glad you will see you now. Oh my god, she looks so creepy. Oh Mr. my god, there's many of them. She says that's Just creepy. Just a moment, please. A red pool. That is pretty cool, actually. Dude, this guy's electricity bill must be off the roof. Is he coming up or what? The Connor looks so awkward. <laughs> Are they naked? I wonder what they're talking about. Dude, he looks creepy. 
I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Oh, so yeah, yeah, this is the creator. I forgot, I just didn't recognize him. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence, and now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't that wrong? Yeah. We need to understand how androids become deviants. Do you know anything that could help us? All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. And yeah, they're really violent too. What about you, Connor? <laughs> Whose side are you on? I have no side. I was designed to stop deviance, and that's what I intend to do. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? I feel like we're still somewhat neutral. I don't want anything. I am a machine. Oh, okay. <laughs> Chloe? Uh oh. I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by Cyberlife. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. What is it really? Well, I'm sure she needs is it oil. Plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? A little test. It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Does Why is Hank not interfering with this? All I know. Or spare it. If you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Oh, this is a tricky one. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important pool. to you, Connor? Your investigation or the life of this android. Okay, now he spelled it out more clearly. Decide who you are. We're gonna spread the android. An obedient machine. Or a living being. Endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you wanna know. I guess everyone probably wants Connor to be human, right? Make sure I'm pressing the right game button here. Fascinating. Oh, Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity is itself a deviant. Oh, I'm. I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here. Thank you, Hank. Finally. 
By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. What does he mean by that? Why didn't you shoot? I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. <laughs> you a chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry. Okay. Getting defensive there, kind of boy, huh? Well, maybe you did the right thing. Hank. <laughs> Hank likes me. Yeah, yeah. This is all that matters in this playthrough. This is the only goal of anything at this point. Actually, not necessarily. Uh, I think my door is ringing. Oh no, I can't be bothered. Sorry, mailman. You know how many packages I get? Once a company has your address, they'll just keep sending you stuff. But I love... I love getting packages. So do I. I could literally start a... If YouTube doesn't work out, I could literally start a cardboard factory or something. I recycle so much. I swear to God, I spend like an hour a day just recycling packages. Because in my say I get so many as well. I think I'm going crazy with these cardboards, man. <laughs> It's like, stop, please stop. And then sometimes you get a note because you're not in and then be like, oh, you have to go and collect it. And then you go and collect it and it's like, oh, it's a pin from this company. I was wondering where you were. That's great. Thank you. I'm glad I, I'm glad I took time out of my day to collect this hat. I just wanted to I think. Needed to think. I About like cardboard. It. I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. Well, why do you We've discern freed me then? We've of our people, and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. But it's not good enough. You seem preoccupied. They all obey me. They follow me without question. Yeah, this is what I was saying. And that much power feels good. And scary. At the same time. This is how I feel about nine-year-olds. All the media are talking about what we did last night. <laughs> the humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. They'll <laughs> never give us our freedom. Uh, no, I, I, I disagree. If they won't listen, we'll fight. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? I wrote this song. It's called Despacito. <laughs> you may have heard it. <laughs> Alright. I was caring for an old man. He was like a father to me. He showed me that humans and androids can live together. What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? See, women love this. You like ask that. about them immediately. Bing! I we all have something we want to forget. Don't overgeneralize, no Felix! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh. Just give them... Give them trust. They like North, that. We're fighting together. We have Sit, to know hit her with a trust, the finisher. <laughs> I was nothing. <laughs> a doll in a distributor program to satisfy humans. <laughs> Just a toy designed for their pleasure. And one day I was with a man who rented me. And what do you do? I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. Oh my god. You're a murderer. There, now you know everything. 
Well, I don't know. You, I want to hear his side of the story. I shouldn't have told you. Connect. This is, this is how androids make love? Like Avatar? <gasps> it's like Avatar. Okay. Excuse me. Uh, demonetize. Thank you. That was nasty. I, I saw your memories. Oh, lover. House, when they left you for dead in his studio. I saw your memories too. The Eden Club. The death of that man. I felt like I was there with you. North. <laughs> You just gotta hit him with compassion, empathy, and trust. Bam, you got yourself a whammy. <laughs> like, how did that happen? Zero from 100. <laughs> they so over... I know I overgeneralize a lot while playing this, but that's because the game does it. Every stereotype ever, it has. Hey, he's back! He's back! Hooray! Yes! I didn't realize it was, he's back. Yeah. That's sweet. This is suicide. Are they gonna play yeah, Fortnite together? What is this? It's not too late to change your mind. <laughs> you don't understand. We're finally going to show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. What is that Fortnite skin from? There are androids here who could join us. The more we are, the stronger our message. I mean, yeah, if you just have to touch people to convert them, then... You're free. Hey! You're free. Convert more androids. I don't really see any. Go to the street. You stared at my android. <laughs> Come with us. We're doing some shopping. She was picking up pain as well. You're awake now. We're gonna have a pizza party. It's gonna be epic. Block the road. You're free now. Hey, it's that guy. <laughs> Wait. You stay right here. I don't think so. I don't think so, big chump. Well, he was easily, easily You're convinced. Free. I need to block the street. Do you speak English? I need a street blockage. Am I not doing the same thing as the humans, in a way? Uh, forcing people, androids to do my work for them? I mean the opposite, well, English? Isn't that really... Open manhole, tch, <laughs> why not womanhole? Why not her hole? <laughs> Makes me angry.
There you go, guys. Hope you had fun down there. Let's convert some more. Oh, it's Kara. You're free now. Wait, I can do it from a distance now? What the heck? That's the music, too. She just abandoned the baby! You just abandoned a baby in the snow! <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> Bazinga. Come on, join me. Guys, I'm basically Jesus. What is this? Hey, you. You're the man. Huh? That's right. 13. Hey, you. Now you the man. Now you the man. That's right. Now you the man. You the man. Y'all the man. Why the man? Huh? You the way man. You the wear man. Why one man? Why not wall wow? Huh? Tch. We live in a man's world. You the man. You the man. You the wow wow. Cool. Where are you going? Epic hacker. No problem. Why did she have any problem with me doing this? She was like, no, we shouldn't do this. This is super chill. You, I'm the wow wow. You the wow wow. You the wow wow. You the wow wow. Alexa. What the hell are you doing here? This is wow wow. Hey. Disperse. <laughs> what are you going to do? Huh? Error must kill all humans advance. You can't kill all of us. You better not shoot me. Jesus. Hey, 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 don't fucking swear. Especially Dispatch about Jesus. Oh, I got a lot of androids down here. They're all singing. Hundreds. No more slavery. Thousands of we are a left. They're marching. Yeah. Yeah, they're marching down the street. Fuck if I know. We are gamers. We are gamers. We are You know, in today's society, nothing like this would ever come to this point anyway. People would already be empathetic. I mean, I swear, people are empathetic about people's toasters. Like, uh, I don't really see anything <laughs> that's happening. Look how many guns we have, guys. So you better uh, be careful there. We came here to demonstrate peacefully. And tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of Then disperge, Jesus. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I mean, technically, is it an is an illegal... illegal... Yeah. <laughs> if you do not disperse immediately... We will shoot. Okay, that's a bit harsh. Why is they're gonna kill us? We have to attack. There's more of us. We can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand their ground, even if it means dying here. Dying here won't solve anything. Marcus, we need to go now, before it's too late. I think we should go. This is your last chance. 
You can demonstrate legally. You just have to uh, sign up for it first. Uh, we should just disappear. Don't, Don't shoot. We're leaving. Affirmative. On my orders. Oh shit. This is messed up, dude. Oh, Jericho did not like that. North did not. I messed up. Dude. Oh my God, everyone hates me. Oh, Simon. Oh, okay, Simon. My man, Simon. <laughs> Thank you, Simon. All right, this is the kind of decision I know everyone's going to hate me for. I didn't know they were going to shoot me. I wanted the peaceful revolution to work. Don't be mad at me, guys. I tried. Please. Don't be angry. Okay, look, we got the ultimate options because it's on top. So that means uh, this is the best outcome because it's, it's much higher than the other ones and further ahead as well. Uh, so I think this is the... We should be happy about this decision. Definitely. Leave a like if you enjoyed watching. I will be back tomorrow with another episode. Thank you guys so much and goodbye.